the teachers, Evelina. I teach on ward and I teach in the classroom and I uh, look after our English teaching as well. Brilliant, thank you. Can you describe what Listening Books have provided Evelina Hospital with? Ah, Listening Books have provided a extra way for us to introduce and keep children occupied while they're here with their reading and access to new books, looking at new authors, particularly for the children who are unable to read for themselves or don't have an adult to read for them. It's been perfect for them to have something to listen to um, in a very kind of private world. Um, so how have you been using the tablets within the hospital school? So we've been using them in the classrooms, in a group situations, and using them for discussions around who our favourite authors are and why, so that's been really good. But we've also been able to get them out onto ward as well, um, and particularly for our sort of longer term children. Um, it's just an extra thing that they can choose if it's we have what we call stop, drop and read time every day in the education setting and um, it's just an extra thing that they can do if they don't actually want to continue reading a book that they've had from school then I think they see this as a as a bit of a, an extra special book to read so it's the special it's they really like. What kind of feedback have you had from the children? Um, generally really positive um, even if they haven't got the book that they want, they request a book and it's not available, actually what it's done is we can then suggest something similar or they can, it's, I think it's widened their choice of reading actually, which is really good. The hardest bit has been to take the tablets away from the children at the end of the day because <laughs> they often want to hang on to them. Did you have access to audiobooks? No, we did not. No, we, we moved just moved into the world of electronic reading. Um, but we know we hadn't, and it was on our list for a long time. Uh, listening books through the uh, London Grid for Learning, we had uh, used a few things, but not to the extent that we're able to use it now yeah. at all. Um, so, what do you think the children get out of having the audiobooks? Have they said anything particular, any kind of anything that they've liked, or anything they've enjoyed? Um, I think the different narrators that has appealed to them because we do do quite a lot of reading to the children and encourage the parents to do it. It's a good time that they got here in hospital to do that. But I think if they can hear it being read by a, a narrator, um, it just adds another dimension to it. It's more of a performance yeah. than just having a book read to you. That's it. So yeah, they, they, that's been really good. And any particular favourite books that the, the children have talked about? It's been quite a widespread, really. What they've really enjoyed are the recommendations for sort of the Christmas reading and then the winter reading. So that's been quite a good way to do it. Um, there are some of the authors that they love, like Napogo on there. Um, there are a couple of gaps, like I don't think there's any dial on there. Um, but apart from that, no, everybody comes with a different recommendation and it's something that we concentrate quite a lot when in school, a sort of widening that reading experience. Um, so you, would you say they're, a, they're an asset to... Uh, uh, most, most definitely, yeah, no, most definitely. Um, particularly for the children, and we have several of them who are unable to read, so they maybe can't communicate very well, but we know that they can listen and they can hear and they can understand. And so to have them being able to listen to something um, which is not just music or somebody reading to them has been a great, great asset for them, really. It's a really good sensory activity for them. Yeah, so that's been really nice too.